Hello, Symphonic Band, Brass and Woodwinds. Onward we go to page 21. In this, our second week of auditions. Um, again, we've broken up these 20 and 21 into separate pages. Um, we have four exercises on this page. Um, again, a lot of you will probably conclude your auditions this week, but, but nevertheless, we want to keep going in the book. We're maybe about 10 pages away from the end of the book and we should finish the book probably sometime during late the third quarter. Now, on this page we have a new minor key, concert A minor, um, a piece which involves meter changes, and then a piece which regrettably we can't perform or rehearse the way we'd like to because, again, we can't do the Divisi. So we'll take a brief break and get your books out and get your Instruments ready to go, and we'll take you through page 21 of book 3, right on the other side of this break, so stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Okay, we begin with uh, concert A minor, number 97, natural minor, 98, harmonic minor. Okay, once again, the um, key signature of the minor key correlates to one of the key signatures of the major keys, making them relative to each other, so we've got two sharps here in the trumpet part. Um, this needs it correlates to concert C major. It says B minor. It's B minor for trumpets. Concert A minor for in, in terms of everything. Okay, the first two exercises we're just going to play. So we don't need to finger silently. Let's go. Put your horns up. Let's play 97. Here we go. Watch out for your key signatures. It is concert C major. Um, except we're playing in concert A minor. Here we go. 97. One, two, ready, and. Okay, 98 harmonic minor, and now as always is the case with the harmonic, the raised 7th, last note of the first measure, it's an E sharp for the trumpets and for the clarinets, tenor sax, and uh, bass clarinet. Okay. All right. Check that. Last note of the first measure. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? One, two. Let's play. Ready? And. exercise, so stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, number 99, time zones. Now this one is going to be problematic both in meter and in notes here. Uh, check the last note of the first measure, it's that harmonic minor raised to seventh. Uh, trumpets is an A sharp, but the rest of your instruments are different. Um, but watch it, it's a frequently missed note. And then the second line, second measure, last note, same thing, A sharp. And then, of course, the meter change. It starts at 4, 1, 2, and 3, and 4. Then it goes into 3. 1, 2, through the back to 4. 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, and so forth. Here we go. Finger silently. Time zones. 1, 2, ready, and now. Second measure, last note of a slur takes the length of the note following. Here we go. Beginning 99, 1, 2, ready, and. Okay, 
We have one more to go, so we'll take another break and we'll be right back to give you the last exercise. Stay tuned. Okay, finally, number 100, Pavan. Okay, it's by Gabriel Foray. Um, this is a very hauntingly beautiful piece, but because, again, we're still on distance learning, we're going to have to remove one of the most endearing elements of this exercise, and that is the second and fourth lines of we can't claim to be seen. Uh, to do that, we have to all be in the same room together for that to achieve its desired effect. So I would like all of you students, and if you did this last year, please take note, I would like all students to play the upper notes in lines two and four. And we're going to have to just say, can't play the bottom notes in lines two and four. But it really makes for a beautiful piece. It's by Gabriel Foray. Here we go, finger silently, take the top notes again in lines two and four. And let me just leave it at this. If you would like to learn the bottom notes, you can do so on your own, but we're only going to teach the top notes here in this lesson. Here we go, finger silently, number one, number two, ready, and. There's no black key on a piano between an E and an F. And there's one of four notes you won't find in your finger chart. chart I'm sorry, it's E sharp, F natural. Okay? All together, let's play it. Here we go. 100 Pavan. One, two, ready, and. page 21 in your book, I'd like to just real quick uh, summarize a few key points here. First of all, uh, in number 98, okay, that last note of the first measure, the raised seventh, um, for the flutes it's G sharp, for the clarinet, trumpet, tenor sax, and bass clarinet it's an A sharp, for the alto sax it's an E sharp. Okay, now we talked about the E-sharp and the Pavan, but that was only with the B-flat pitched instruments. Now you have an E-sharp 
uh, as your last note, alto saxes, you're the only ones with it. Again, E sharp is one of the four notes that you won't find on your fingering chart, okay? E up a half a step is F natural, okay? The four notes are E sharp, B sharp, F flat, and C flat. And you need to know those four notes, and you can't go to a fingering chart and look it up because you won't find them. On a piano, there are no, there's, there's no black key between an E and an F, and there's no black key between a B and a C. So the definition of a sharp is a note is raised a half step up and a flat is a note is lowered a half step down. So alto saxes, that's an E sharp, which is F natural. Okay, um, low brass, your note, uh, again, oh, by the way, trumpets, your A sharp, okay, we, of course, your, your book is projected on the screen every lesson because, of course, naturally that's my instrument. But low brass, trombone, and baritone, your last note is an E sharp. I'm sorry, not E sharp, I'm sorry, G sharp. G sharp, okay, which uh, equals A flat. Okay, all right, now, whatever I just told you about 98 is also true for 99. That last note in the first measure, it's the same. G sharp for the flutes, A sharp for the, all the B flat instruments, E sharp for the alto saxes, F natural, and um, G sharp for the low brass, trombone baritone. Okay, second measure, don't forget the last note of a slur, slur takes the length of the note following D, yup, up. Okay, please watch it. Now in that pavan, again, just to be clear, uh, when we play it in class in synchronous teaching, we will take only the upper notes. Since we are not together in the band and we can't go to VC like we like to do, and again, it's a shame because it's a very lovely piece to play, but it's, we can't do the VC under these conditions. So learn the upper notes, please, and if you would like, learn the lower notes. Now, in the end of the second line, that eighth note, second line next to the last measure, the eighth note. Flutes, it's a D-sharp, B-flat pitched instruments, which is clarinet, trumpet, tenor sax, bass clarinet, it's an E-sharp. This is what I talked about a few minutes ago in the lesson. It's F natural. Um, and then trombone and baritone, it's a, um, um, it's a D-sharp. Okay, D sharp, which would equate to E flat. Okay, is that clear? All right. Now we have other note issues if we were playing the lower notes, but I'm going to have to ask you kids to look at that yourself at home on your own. Okay. But again, just please at least practice the upper notes and practice the lower notes uh, if you wish. Okay. All right. Now, don't forget, auditions conclude Friday, January 15th. That's the no penalty deadline. If you go past the 15th, you run into penalties. 10% off your 90-point quarter test grade. It'll be lowered 10%. And two points every day that you don't turn it in or that you don't submit your complete audition, both 64 The Pretty Girl and 83 Green Sleeves. Um, it'll be two points a day, including the weekend. Again, the weekends are in play, both weekends, you know, to turn it in with no penalty and to turn it in with penalty. Because you're at home, your horn's at home, your, your stuff's all at home. So the weekends are in play, careful. There's no school Monday the 18th. Okay, so the rock bottom last day to do your audition is the 20th. Wednesday, January 20th. After that day, that's it. Then you, no grade and you sit last year in your section and you don't get a grade for your audition. All right, so good luck on your audition. If you haven't done it yet, do good. And, and, um, and don't forget, singles, you have to do the audition also. You get a grade for it, okay? And have a great week, and keep busy, keep practicing, and, and as always, stay healthy. You're sorely missed here at school, and I wish you nothing but the best, always. This is Mr. Pickett, and this is page 21 in your book. Have a great week. So long, take care, and... Bye-bye.